Hi, I'm Ed from Wright, and today we're talking about our rider lineup, and specifically on the ZXL. There's a few things that we did here recently. We changed some models and we reduced the price. So first off, why do we reduce the price? Just overall, mowers are too expensive right now, and we're doing everything we can in order to keep prices down because um, it's that's what we got to do. Um, it's it's valuable for our industry, the sustainability of our industry, to try to keep prices right on point. We went through a really difficult period of really high inflation, and some of that inflation is sticking and will be here forever, and some other parts of that inflation are slowly, slowly turning into deflation. For example, steel prices have dropped a lot, which has helped us, but still there's a lot of other costs that remain very high. Um, so we just reduced this price now early in the spring of 2023. The other thing that we've done is we've changed some model options. So this machine now comes with a Kawasaki FX850 engine, um, this engine is a carbureted engine. The other engines we offer are EFI, so we have the 37 horsepower Vanguard EFI engine, the 28 horsepower Vanguard EFI engine, and the Kawasaki FX850 carbureted engine. Now, the thing I really like about the FX850 engine, it's been a long-standing favorite because it is simple and it is very, very reliable. Uh, the Vanguard engines, or any EFI engine really, over the life of the engine, you're gonna save a lot on fuel you're going to statistically save more on fuel than you will on the initial cost or other maintenance. But the thing about it is if or when you have an issue with an EFI engine, it is more difficult to uh, work on or have repaired or more expensive versus the carbureted. So it really comes down to pay now or pay later type of situation between the two engines. And the FX850, like I said, it's a long-standing favorite um, engine in our industry and one of my favorites as well. So we added that engine to this mower. Um, it also helps us keep the price down. Um, now, these two machines here, the ZXT Extreme and ZXL Extra Large, um, have, were both designed at, at about the same time, and so that's why there's all the similar parts to them. Um, the front of both of these machines are identical. So the caster is a platform to brake, the deck lift system, the deck itself is identical. When you get a little bit further back, um, we have a couple changes. So this machine here has a standard seat frame. This machine here, the seat frame travels up and down. It gives about an extra four inches of suspension and the hand controls travel with it. And so it creates a very cushy ride. All three of these mowers have the same seat. This is one of the most premium seats on the market. Um, it has the best suspension package down here. It has the best upholstery options. We have the two-tone color this lighter gray stays a little bit cooler in the summer um, versus a, a dark um, material. It has the padded armrests that are adjustable up and down. And the one feature that's often missed is the back has adjustable um, reclining. And I think that's really important. We like to position our seats angled back just a little bit. They're more comfortable that way. When you do that, you need the adjustable back. Um, there are some heat seats that have a higher backrest, but I find that that backrest ends up just hitting you in the shoulder blades and it's not nearly as comfortable as this style seat here. So all three machines have that same seat. Moving further back on the machine here, the biggest difference between the ZXT and the ZXL are the transmissions. These transmissions here, it's a pump and motor system with planetary reduction in the final drive. This here is a Hydro Gear 4400 transaxle, integrated transaxle. Uh, it's a heavy duty commercial transaxle. And the pros and cons are over here, we're able to have an external reservoir that gives us about a thousand hour um, oil change interval. Whereas here we have the standard uh, transmission oil change interval. Also this transmission here, it allows us to put 26 inch tires rather than 24 inch tires on the machine. And we can also put duals. So this machine is available in the off-road dual tweels, which we have here. You can also get a single turf tweel and we also have dual pneumatic tires. The off-road duels are where you're dealing with really mucky terrain, you need a ton of traction, it's a bit aggressive for turf grass, whereas the pneumatic duels, when you take the air pressure down to about 12 PSI, you'll find that it doesn't really rip up the turf and you get really good uh, stability and control. One thing that we did find with duels is that if you want to cut perfectly flat area beautifully, uh, duels give you a better cut because the one wheel doesn't drop in any holes or dips. The duels average out the terrain more. Same thing when you have your air pressure at 10 or 12 PSI in the duels, it absorbs the lumps. So you get a, a smoother cut with the duels. 
with an integrated transmission, we don't have the torque to put those extra wheels on the side of the machine. Um, and also mention, duals are for the 72 inch deck, and that's true for the standard ZK as well as the ZXT. With the duals, the tire comes out to about an inch short of the, of the cut edge. So if you were to put these on a 61 inch deck, the wheels would be wider than the deck itself. So the, the, um, the transmissions are, are a big difference in these two mowers. With the engines, this engine here has the oil guard system, which gives us a 500 hour oil change interval, which is convenient and in the long run saves you a lot of money. Um, this machine here has the standard oil drain set up. There's a valve and it pours straight down through the engine deck where you put an oil pan underneath it. It's easy to do, but you have to do it more frequently on this machine. Now, overall between these two machines, this here is about $3,700 to $3,200 cheaper depending on the engine models. Um, and that's, that's the trade-off. Now, I think, in, in my opinion, if you're cutting smaller properties back to back and you're doing a lot of towing throughout the day, this machine's a lot lighter and it's a lot more nimble. And with similar engine displacement, this machine will outproduce the ZXT. Now, if you're in a larger setting, like we are here today, where you might be cutting flat out for an hour or two at a time, the electric governor response helps you a little bit, and the long travel suspension and the 26 inch wheels all give you a smoother ride, which in many cases allows you to go a little bit faster um, in those wide open areas. So there, there are benefits to both. And um, like I said, this is around three, $3,200, $3,700 cheaper. Now, next down in our lineup, we have the ZTO. Uh, this is a full commercial machine. We don't make any consumer machines. This is a full commercial mower. It also has 24 inch tires. It has the Hydro Gear um, 3600 transmissions in it and the medium sized Kawasaki FX 730 engine. And again, the decks are a similar design um, and it's about another two gram cheaper than a ZXL. So that's our full lineup of riders. Like I said, we just now dropped the price. I'm not sure how long we're gonna keep that promotion running, um, but by all means, check it out, and I hope you have a great rest of your spring.